Hello guys, it's me, Kelly. And so, um, I kind of took like a week and a half almost to post my last video. Um, so this one's gonna follow it pretty closely, but it is an update. So, <clears throat> I put a little story in my last one saying what day that one was recorded on and I'm much better now and the fact is I am much much better now so thank you everyone who um, knew on Instagram that I have been sick or possibly Facebook um, so thank y'all for that and yeah so let's get into today's video so I have an unpackaging for y'all and I have two finishes and a new start with some decent prog decent progress, I think, um, because, you know, there was days where I didn't do anything um, because I was just too tired or too busy or... And then I'll show you where I'm, uh, where I'm starting on the one that I'm going to work at until this um, upcoming weekend, whenever I start the 12 Days of Christmas Challenge. I'm so excited for that. So I guess let me just give you a bit of an update. I guess, um, not my last video, but the previous one about the issues with um, my health and all of that. I kind of feel like I just need to retell a little bit of the story because I think a few people got confused maybe. Um, my 17-year-old cat, who's actually right there. <laughs> She's become a nuisance. Um, she very much knows how to use a litter box and I had, do have three litter boxes for two cats. Um, and she's on purpose not using them. And I know for a fact that she can. So, um, it's been really interesting. So, um, anyways, I went on my trip and this is kind of also me, uh, I had been on medicine, so I don't really remember how much I've told you, but um, I did go on my trip to see my family in Maryland, and I had such a good time. Um, there were things that we didn't get to do. Came back sick. My cousin got sick. Her boyfriend got sick, but not for as long as us. Rude. Um, but anyways, um, got back, did an appointment. Um got an inhaler and was told to do like over the counter stuff for five to seven days. Um, and if that didn't work, the doctor would call me in a prescription. Um, this prescription, the pharmacist called me to make sure that I was okay trying to take it because I am allergic to penicillin, which sucks to be me because usually I get slapped with a Z pack and, you know, told it'll get better in a couple of weeks. So, um, he called to tell me that, to ask me about my penicillin uh, allergy. And I was like, I don't know what happened whenever I was a baby. And I was just told never to take it again. So anyways, this medicine apparently contains the one single spore of penicillin that apparently people who are mildly allergic to penicillin can actually take. So there was only a 5% chance that I would have a, an allergic reaction to this medicine. So... Literally, I took the first pill like Tuesday morning and by like lunchtime, I was already feeling like a million times better. Um, I have one day left on meds after tonight's pill. So I'm very close to being completely finished with my meds um, and I feel so much better. I don't know if you can tell like in my voice, I feel so much better. Um, I am a little bit sniffly um, today and that's mainly because it had been like super cold this entire week. Um, it's Thursday by the way. And like yesterday, all the all of a sudden, it decided to jump back up to like 80 degrees for a day, and today it dropped back down to like the 50s. I don't know what the hell goes on in Texas as far as our weather goes, but welcome to my world. That's who knows. Um, let's see what else can I say. Oh, um, so I got back. Um, on Wednesday, like super late at night, Thursday, Friday, went to the doctor, went through the weekend, um, Monday and Tuesday of last week. 
So like the fifth and sixth or something like that. Um, I had the tile put in my bedroom and the back bedroom and then used the end of last week through this weekend to finish painting my bedroom and to put all the furniture back. And so anyways, Gizmo for her special food and stuff has been occupying that back bedroom, which has no furniture in it, just tile, a litter box without the lid on it. So it's even easier for her to get into, which mind you, the two and a half weeks that I've been back from Maryland, no accidents, none whatsoever, none in any of the litter boxes, whether the lid was on or off, no accidents, two and a half weeks. Ugh. Last night, well, actually the last couple of days, I just, I come home and there's pee all over that room. I mean, granted, it's easy to clean up because there's no furniture, but she peed super close to the baseboards, so I'm pretty sure, you know, like, I, I had that room tiled to get rid of the smell of her pee, and that room did not smell like pee until a couple days ago. It now smells like it again because it's now being absorbed, I'm pretty sure, into my grout and possibly my baseboard, so, um... It's pretty comical. My dad is a towel guy, so I asked him what to do, and he said, spray for breeze on the grout. So I did that last night, and it helped actually a lot. And today, she hasn't had an accident in there. And here's the funnier part. I had put down puppy pee pads in that room. She peed and then moved a pee pad on top of it. Who does that? So she's 17. She is very healthy other than this new behavioral crap about not wanting to pee. And here's the thing. It's like every couple of days. It's like the last three days have been horrendous. And then today, no accidents. I don't understand it. I just don't. I, mm, I'm, I'm at my wits ends, you guys. So pray for me that she stays on a angel child track because... <sighs> I'm going to miss her whenever she's gone, but I I do not have the patience for this crap. Um. Anyways, other than that, Potter's doing great, and Haley is back at the house. She's also doing great. Um, I'm doing great other than losing my sanity. Um, all right, so let's do a quick unpackaging. Um. So I told y'all that I didn't know if I was going to join any of the 2017 SALs. I decided to do the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery one because it's the, you know, the final in the trilogy to all the classic fairy tales in the Once Upon a Time. And it had Heidi in it. They should not have shown me the Heidi block because I love Heidi. So um, I ordered my fabric from Picture This Plus. Um, independently because all the threads were DMC so I didn't really want to get the kit and also because it's part of a trilogy my other two in the series are not on crystal and so I and I know that this one the kit came with crystal look at this Potter stop this is my life. <sighs> Serenity now, guys. Serenity now. All right. So I didn't want to have crystal because it wouldn't match my other two. So I ordered the fabric in helix and in 14 count to match the other pieces. Um, but I got it in plain, so that way, um, it better matches my other ones. So, this was my little haul. I've had this for about a week and a half, but, like I said, um, you know, I hadn't filmed, and I hadn't even edited and uploaded that other one for, like, a week and a half. It's just been very crazy, guys. All right, so I have two finishes. At the beginning of December, I finished my pumpkin passport. And I put the little flags in all of them. And oh my gosh, it's just so 
sinking cute. Finished it. Here's the other half. Potter, stop eating the puppy pee pad. Anyways, here's my finished pumpkin passport. I absolutely love it. I do have one minor complaint. Please leave a comment below if you kind of agree with me. And it's not necessarily like a complaint like, oh, I feel like I wasted my time doing it. Um, I was just a little disappointed that they couldn't go to America once. <laughs> like, they're American designers. Which is maybe why they didn't want to do it. But I was a little disappointed that there was not that representation, I guess, of America in any way. Um, like, I truly was thinking that they might do, like, California. Like, I knew that Canada was coming. And so I really thought that after Australia, it was going to jump to um, Canada and then end in America because they're from America. Um, so it really, um, whenever we got India, I was a little... Was it India or Peru? Pr Peru. <laughs> I don't know anymore. Maybe, I don't know. Peru. Um, whenever we got Peru, I already knew that Canada was supposed to be the last one because they had revealed Canada in some of the chats on Facebook. So, um, one of my coworkers is sending pictures um, from today. But they had already revealed Canada, so I got a little sad that there wasn't um, one destination that was America, um, I, because I thought it would, you know, would have been really cool to end in America, like they went on this little trip and they ended back home, um, you know. And it's that's fine, personal opinion. Um, I'm not sad that I did this one. Um, I totally love it, and I've been to not many, but a few of these places. Um, and you know, it is really cool to see, um, them like drawn out and all connected like that. So this is one of my favorite finishes, especially of this year. So, um, definitely not like complaining, complaining, but I personally would have loved to have seen a little America month. My next finish, and it's not framed yet, um, so I'll post a picture of it framed on the Stitch Mania group on Facebook, um, but I can't post it on my Instagram or anything like that or my main Facebook page until after Christmas because this is a Christmas gift. So I can only post it on the forums within Facebook that are stitching related. Um, so, um, it's not framed yet because I currently cannot get to my, um, iron. Hopefully I'll be able to after this weekend or I'm going to borrow my neighbors. But, um, I did finish the Silver Creek sampler. Sing me a sampler from, uh, the Sound of Music for my dad's girlfriend. So we're just going to. Go through and I'll show you. I really, really loved this project. It is a really quick stitch. It's not hard at all. Um, it goes relatively fast. I got a tiny bit burnt out on it at the end whenever, but I always kind of do whenever I get down to those last like two or three colors, I just get tired of stitching them. Um, but I really, 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 truly love this project. Um, I think it came out really well and I really think that she's going to love it. And so I'm pretty excited about that. The next thing that I worked on, and again, um, I changed up my plans from what I said that I was going to do in my proposed December um, because I was also supposed to work a few days on Pen Pal Sampler, yeah, Pen Pal Sampler, on my Magical Creature Sampler, um, and something else, and I didn't do any of that. Um, so what I did... <laughs> Um, I did, though, have it in the schedule to start my national parks. This is how far I got. I did not stitch. I had for several days to stitch, but I did not really stitch consecutively. 
Um, so this is how far I got in probably about five days, but I guess six days, but I only really stitched like two and a half days really. Um, and whenever I say days, like these were like weekdays. So two or three hours every night after work. So, you know, not a whole lot of time, but it is going really fast. Um, it's really fun. This is going to come back out um, in April for Earth Day. I think I have it out for like a week, week and a half um, for Earth Day in April and possibly also again in Stitch Mania because if you watched my proposed calendar for the year, I'm going to do Stitch Mania a little bit differently. I'm going to do um, eight new starts and seven whips. And that's how I'm going to break it up. Um, I'm currently <coughs> until I think Sunday is yeah Sunday is whenever I'm starting the 12 days of Christmas um which y'all are probably saying 12 days of Christmas challenges and chart till the 26th but I'm doing the frosted pumpkin one so I'm using the week before the actual challenge starts to work on the border and the inside borders and possibly the inside numbers so that way whenever it's each day for the 12 days I'll just have like that block hopefully that's the goal Um, so I have my Christmas town back out till the end of the week. I literally have clue three and four left. So I have most of the tree shop and the little bit of decoration and the rest of the word town down here. Um, but this is also going by very quickly and I'm to the point where I can start finishing up entire colors at one time, which if y'all have been watching my channel at all for a decent amount of time, y'all know that I love to do that um, just because that's just, I, it's just what I like to do, honestly, um, because I just like getting them out of my little packages and putting them away um, to use in other projects and blah, blah, blah. So this is what I'm going to be working on. I'm hoping to get it finished, but um, I'm hoping but I have to do some baking tonight I also um tomorrow night I'll probably get the most stitching in um in the evenings unless I decide to clean because I really just need to and I need to start moving furniture from my last two from my other guest bedroom into the one that's empty I need to start moving that furniture in there and from my sewing and craft room in there because in J January at some point or very early February, we're having the last two bedrooms in the entire house tiled. And then everything will be tiled. Those two rooms luckily are already painted. So don't have to do anything with that. Um, but I do still have to paint the currently empty room that that one keeps on having little potty breaks in. Um, and then Saturday, my cousin is graduating from Baylor, so I have to go to Waco for the day. And then Sunday, hopefully I'll get more stitching in, but that's whenever I'm starting 12 Days of Christmas. So I'm hopeful, but I'm kind of not thinking that it's going to happen. But um, I really do want to get this one finished, you know? I mean, I don't have that much left. So I'm a little hopeful, but I'm not promising. So that's what I'm working on for the rest of this week and through the weekend until I start 12 days. And then um, I'll keep you updated on that. But I hope y'all really like this video. I'm sorry it was super long-winded, way longer than I thought that it was going to be. But I thought that I needed to really, like, clarify and kind of update the story, I guess. And if you like my TARDIS pillow back here, my friend Tracy, who has been in a few videos, I think, um got me that as one of my Christmas gifts. Um, I went ahead and gave her her entire gift all at one time about a week and a half ago, and she's spreading mine out over the next, the, the end of this, like this week and next week. She's spreading mine out and giving me a little bit every time we see each other. So that'll be really interesting. But that's what she gave me last night. That's going to go in my London guest bedroom. So I'm really excited. It'll go with my bow tie pillow. Um, and so, yeah. Uh, anyways, I hope that y'all are having a great Christmas um, season. Um, 
I know people are working on trying to get those last minute finishes. I'm not doing that this year because I wanted to do that other challenge. Um, and yeah, <laughs> um, I was more concerned this year about getting Christmas presents finished and next year is solely um, selfish stitching of stuff for myself. So I'm really excited about it. Um, anyways, I hope everyone is close to done with Christmas shopping and um, not dealing with any craziness or anything like that. Um, please share below anything that you'd like to or any questions because um, I love answering your questions in the next video. Um, and also, I totally forgot about this. So, um, we did, I did hit 500 subscribers, so thank you so, so much, and I promised a giveaway, and I want to do that ASAP, however, with Christmas and stuff coming up, and the fact that I can barely step into my sewing room at the moment, but I have to move all that stuff out, um, before, I guess, like, at the very beginning, by the very beginning of January, just be, just in case. Um, so as I'm doing that, I'll finally be able to get to my stuff and I can put together the giveaway. So the giveaway will be at the very beginning of January is whenever I'll um, make a video telling you what everything is going to be in it and how to enter and blah, blah, blah. So be on the lookout for that. It'll be its own video. Um, and I'm, I really want to make it something really cool and special for you guys. So keep an eye out for that. Um, it may not all be cross stitch or embroidery related. Don't know. Um, there may be some other exciting goodies in there. So anyways, um, thank you all again so, so much. And, um, some exciting things are coming and 2017 look out and, uh, I will talk to y'all later. Bye guys.